Have you ever watched this Emmanuel TV or oh, these shows man. where they are like praying 24-7 and it's just like people falling, <clears throat> praying like... I've watched Emmanuel. Oh, it's got people on their knees. They're not praying. Hey. <laughs> they are praying. <laughs> the Emmanuel oh, I watch, they're on their knees. They ain't praying. <laughs> Which Emmanuel are you talking about? Getting slapped with something else. <laughs> <laughs> eh? A different kind of holy staff. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You know what I mean? Because Aminota has got a lot of enemies mm. uh, that he created. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't just pop out of nowhere, these yeah. enemies. Yeah. Right? If you check, you whenever you guys them. speak about coffee, I always keep quiet. Oh, well, we hardly speak about we coffee. Hardly. I mean, I love coffee, dude. Like, mm. it's a huge influence in my music mm. when I make music. You know what I mean? Huge. I love coffee. I've never said anything foul about him. Mm. Well, I don't know him. I don't have any experiences with him. And that's just, I go with what. Is I it true he's about. dating Sarah Langa? I saw something. Oh, as well. snap, yeah. Then for the, real. The truth has come, like, they've come out. So I don't know. It's the, the legit of that relationship and what's going on. But why would he be then now still harassing his wife, ex-wife? But that's another story. Who is Sarah Langer, man? What's her claim to fame? No. S- is it is it Sarah Langer or is it the... Sarah Langer. Are you sure? Mm. I don't know the story, but it, Sarah Langer makes sense to be blinking, dating Black Coffee. But, she's an influencer. Like but she's, she's freaking hot, man. She's so you got to hand it to him for that one. Yeah, oh, she's super hot. Yo. Yeah, she's very hot. She's Amazing. an inf- well, yeah, she's become she is an influencer, but there's more to her than that. I mean, she's one of the top earning influencers. She's educated. Let me Google uh, it. Do you think she's got a Wikipedia? She might. See, Sarah it, Langa. But I mean, Wiki anyone can just create a Wikipedia. Mm. So she might. Oh, she's, she's gorgeous. No, she is. And she was dating a billionaire. Oh, she's also she divorced. Was married to a di- yeah, divorced. Um, from a billionaire. All right, here, here, the first question people ask, what does Sarah Langa do for a living? Here's the answer. Langa has over the years built a career as a social media influencer. She has since moved on and seems to have publicly declared a relationship with American actor and model, Rhetoric Williams. This is 7th of Jan, 2021. Who's oh. Rhetoric Williams now? Ah, we don't know. We don't know that one. What's going on here? <laughs> no, I think you've got the wrong girl. Is it the wrong girl? Maybe, it's the maybe wrong Black girl. Coffee is not dating Sarah Lang. It's but the right one, go sleep. Sarah Lang and Black Coffee makes sense. That union makes sense. No, it's the wrong girl. So according to you, what does she do, go sleep? She's an influencer. She's an influencer. Ah. Like one of the top, it's, she's the... She's the top... Top like, influencers in the ah. game. Top know? echelons of yeah. influencers. So she's never she's done there. TV, radio, nothing, No, acting. nothing, no. Ah. She, she yeah. acts she, as well, she, but she's, she's done acting, I think. Who's it? Yeah, she's an actress, I think. Nah, I don't think does so. She ha- does she have that on her? She dated uh, K.O. as well. K.O.? The first in- celebrity cat she dated was K.O. Oh, is that this was- K.O.'s... Uh, okay. Yeah, ex. Sarah oh, Langa. Okay. She's got like a white dad or something. Very oh. light-skinned girl. Uh, dated K.O. Yeah. Dated Jeez. K.O., yeah. Hey, I'm a coffee bus like I'm non deal. Of course, dog. I'm a mm, coffee mm, dog. From mm. Greece... To South Africa, to France. What are you looking at, Gosley? I'm looking for, worldwide. okay, actually, it is. Sarah Langa is the girl that is speculated to be with Black Coffee. Mm. Yes. That no, makes, she is. Yeah, I think they're going to, it's a fire couple. Yeah. It look, the couple looks good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. From outside, it's, it's, it's. So there is, there, there is some tea about something, there's something brewing. Did you guys Ooh, um, <laughs> something brewing? Black coffee. Coffee, uh, you know. Brew. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you guys listen to Jesse Q's album? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. he dropped an album. Yeah. Oh, flip. And how, how, is how, it? how do people feel about it? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what people feel about it. I haven't been on social media, but I thought it was. Ugh, it's not my vibe. Mm. Mm. The solo you, album. you know the piano I like, dog. I like the soulful, like them Tuda. Mm. Yeah, not quite a piano. Because it's like, I feel like there's two branches. Quite a piano, you know? Then there's like Soulful with Taliwonga, mm. Sam Things Away. Yes, yes. that's my vibe. vibe. Have you heard that uh, Dallas Toki? Dallas Toki ah, Superman. That's saxophone. That's saxophone. Matuman, you've heard uh, ah. my producer's voice on that. Yeah, yes. that's my vibe. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Like, oh. It's oh, similar to the previous. What's what are the tracks that he sang on? Like. Love you Same tonight. Vibe. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's got that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the kind that's of that's that's the kind of yeah. Yeah. Oh man, it hits to the, uh, the soul, hey? Yeah. yeah. And Jazzy didn't use the song that I gave him. How? Oh, maybe, that, maybe that's why it was pop. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, play us the song. <laughs> your, your MacBook has a song. Play us the song. Let's play the, the beat. Where is it? No, Where is it? we'll tell you Shit. if. Yeah, if it, it, it was sense. supposed to make it, the, <laughs> the exclusion makes sense. <laughs> 
<laughs> I need my phone so I can play it for you guys. Oh uh, no no yeah, it's charging. It's I'm fine. Sure. I'll, yeah, I'll play it for you. And there's a call time. coming in there on your phone anyway. Come yeah. on. Oh yeah, no, I'll call him back. It's fine. No, it's fine. Go slow. I'll play it some Put other it. time. No, 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 no. The album is out. Your song, you're expecting it. I'm rejecting this call. Yeah. You're expecting Please. the song on the album. We need album. to hear this song. You are disappointed. So mm. we need but to they hear jacked, it. But they Let jacked, they jacked, um, the album they number jacked one. Kezo. Kezo. Oh, mm. Kezo. Yeah, there's a song with Kezo. Kezo. It's called Kezo. No, you know the thing that I do? Kezo. Yeah. Kezo. Spoon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they jacked that. There's one song where they did that. <laughs> ah. Ah. It's, and it's weird. His other name is Funzo. So, Mok Funzo and Kez. Funzo Jani, man. No one is spoon feeding you now. Huh? <laughs> Jesse Q doesn't want to be spoon fed uh, the hits. I need to find the song. But yeah, I liked um, I liked the beats though. I think he went um, the the vocals. He fucked it up with the vocals. Like oh, his choice selection is it? didn't really go with the beats, but the beats are crazy. So the songs that I like are the songs without any vocals. Oh. There's a song called Rocket. I think it's like nine, number nine or ten. Mm-hmm. Ooh, fire. Okay. fire. Fire, 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 fire. No, fire. no, shut out. Is he making the beats? Because Jazzy Q is No, man, he buys, these... man. He buys. Yeah, because Jazzy Q is involved with all these funny. All the hits are, are Buster 99. Buster, yes, exactly. Mm. So he's the one who makes all the hits. So what was he doing that in Jesuit Disciples? He was just, uh, oh, I don't know, face. Jesus Yeah, because now it's almost like Josiah was the mastermind. Yeah, and Josiah just announced that, okay, I think he needed to hear um, Jesse Q's album. Then he just announced now that, yo, I'm dropping my album next That's week. No more okay. no more running around. Let me crash and kill this one. Ish. Yeah. yeah, but you see, uh, Josiah is the master. That guy's fucking talented. So Josiah was the one carrying the group on his back. He had the source. Oh. He had the source. Mm. I got so many beats here, man. I didn't write the name. Okay, let me just... I'll, I'll hear when I hear it. You really so, want to so, hear the beat, guys? Yeah, yeah. we want to hear the beat that was supposed to be on the album that came out this week. I yeah, think well, that's relevant enough. Okay. Okay, carry, carry on about another topic while I find it. You found it. I need to listen to it first, so carry on. on ah, he wants to now change. <laughs> he wants to now change and put the, 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 the nice beats. <laughs> hey, you know what we did? This one, this one time... This one time, during lockdown, actually, me and yeah. my woman were so drunk, we started freestyling on top of this beat. Yeah, I know, I know, you know, I know the track. Oh, I sent you the track. Yes, and you recorded yeah. it. Yeah, I recorded oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Couple goals, by the it's way. Okay. You know? <laughs> That's couple goals. Freestyling on my piano beats when we're drunk. Okay, it's not this beat. Okay. It's not that beat. This is you! Yeah. Hey! You're yeah, good. That's not the sun. This is not you, man. This is you. This guy. And my guy is yeah, a guy. This is my woman. <laughs> this is the song. So this is the beat that we're meant to take. So this is the song. Can you hear the Kezra? Kezra. Kezra. I hear the Kezra. Yeah. But it wasn't, I didn't master it. I hadn't arranged it yet. It's fine. It's yeah, fine. we're just, yeah. we went dry to it. And I used this mixer, actually. What? Yeah. All to record the yeah, yeah, interface. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's my woman. That's me, obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so when you sent it to Jazzy Q, was it? Was it's just the beat. Oh, okay, just, good. Just the beat. Thank Without goodness. the vocals, yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I no wonder it is. it's the vocal you rejected. Not the beat. <laughs> hey, Nah, the beat is not whack. I wouldn't say the beat is whack. It's nice. Hey, my woman can see, yeah? Hey. <laughs>
No, I think that's cool. We've heard like it's, <laughs> it's, it's we've heard enough. <laughs> okay, yeah. put on put on the one that when you rapping. MacGyver raps, guys. Let me expose you also. Oh, the video I'm rapping. Yes. Okay. It's a song that you rap. So you know the guys that did the intro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the podcast, the Voltrix. Beats, the beats everybody's asking about. All the, please put yeah. that thing on iTunes or something, bro. Yeah, People so... are always asking about yeah, that beat. Hey. Like, who produced that? Who can I find the song? So they um, were recording in studio. Okay. And we got high. And I just jumped on the mic. As in you're smoking weed? Yeah, yeah. Dope. I thought it makes Look you... Look at you halluc- laying, laying this out. I thought it made you hallucinate. <laughs> no, that day I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> so what up, Pambir? I like how you laid out before prepare us. <laughs> I was high. <laughs> King on the beat. Who is that song? Is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. Okay, cool. Is that yeah. my lady? No. Oh, That's some, f- some other girl. Out of female, okay. Yeah, some other. There you go. <laughs> Are you? I can't girl? believe I'm playing this. You the opening verse? No, she does the... What do you call it? So it? this Friday, you're going to be on Hangouts. <laughs> I got boys calling. I got squads tripping. I got hoes talking. Fuck all the rumors, I'm still walking. I got my boys balling. I got the sauce dripping. All of you hoes falling. Your man's at my door, he's still knocking. Look at my wrist. Look at my dick. Use a pick. It's about to get lit. All these hoes. They don't know what I do. With the yeah, I like how you enjoy your own music. Eh? Superman, cause I got a super whip. You a bad bad, cause you got a super clip. What does that mean? Come ask me. You can find out. And my friend. Sol is Randall. <laughs> it's catchy. <laughs> uh, uh, I wouldn't say it's rap, rap, but it's what the rappers do these days. Like, look at my name. They call me Superman because I got a super whip. You a bad bad because you got a super clip. Oh, shit. Super clips. I thought it was super click. I know. Super click. Clip. Wow. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Hey. Anyway. Mengele, Mengele. Let's go back, guys. <laughs> oh, well. Aye. Oh, man. That was fun, though. That's dope, man. Yeah. Nice. But your my piano beat is actually okay. Like, it's it's good. It's uh, just a beat, ne? Yeah, the beats. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's, it's, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, I see why he didn't pick it. <laughs> but it's not whack. Mm. It's just to me, my piano, like, they all do the same thing. You know, that, it's, that's the thing. That it's so hard. Is, what? Is it a sax or that? Yeah. And then the chords, it's like, oh, you know, so it's a bit okay, but you know what I mean. Anyway, do you, uh, what do you guys think about the? I know we never speak about soccer, but I thought it was like crazy what crazy. happened this week, right? With the Nations Super League. Nations? Oh, the Super, it's just the Super, Super League. League. Yeah, European, Super League. European Super League. What did you think about it? Shit, I think it's, 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 it's an amazing idea for a movie. Or, you know what I mean? But for real life, I don't want to see Man City, my team, play Madrid twice a month. You know what I mean? It's a special occasion when it does happen, and that's Champions League. I don't want to see it happen every now and then. And also, if FIFA, because FIFA heard about this, they caught wind of this, and they said, any player who gets involved in this league will not play in the World Cup. Now, it's pointless to have a World Cup without all you know, the the, the, superstars. the the superstars. And it's also pointless to have the Champions League without all these teams. No one is trying to watch Burnley and Real Social Dad in the <laughs> finals of the Champions <laughs> okay, League. Okay, can I can I read like lay it down for people who don't understand? Yeah. Let, let me touch on my wing this. I you know? I, okay. Lay it down. The European Super League, ne? Yeah. In a joint announcement Sunday, six English clubs, Arsenal. Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, and Tottenham Hotspur, alongside three teams from Italy, AC Milan, Inter Milan, and Juventus, Mm, and three from Spain, Atletico Madrid, Atletico, 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 
yeah. Madrid, mm. Barcelona and Real Madrid laid out plans to form a breakaway competition. The announcement has resulted in a widespread condemnation with fans, players and politicians all criticizing the founding members for prioritizing financial gain. By Wednesday, the Super League had collapsed. It appears they were taken by a back by the strength of criti- criticism. Mm-hmm. Arsenal apologized in an open letter to their fans and said they had made a mistake, adding they were withdrawing after listening to supporters and the wider football community. I, For me, I love the idea. I think it's great. Mm-hmm. I think it was just badly executed. Mm-hmm. Because what's happening here, as everybody knows, it's no secret, FIFA, UEFA are fucking corrupt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, okay, yes. I, right? agree, I agree. So, Champions League, let's start with the Champions League. Champions League, they make about three billion a year, right? And just for being part of the t- uh, of the competition, each team gets about 100 million, mm, right? Okay. And then if you win, you get about 130 million. Oh. So, where does the rest of the money go? You said how many te- h- how much do they make from the Champions League? 3 billion. 3 billion. Yeah. How many teams are in the Champions League? Uh, like when it starts. It's quite a, it's quite a lot. 20? Yeah, somewhere there. If okay, so example I don't know the real number. If there's 20 teams and they get 100 million just for qualifying, that's 2 billion already. Yeah, but not all of them get 100 million. It depends on how big of a stature your club is. Because what they did is that they used to get equal amounts Mm. and then the big six, the big teams, started saying, no, we want bigger share because people watch this because for, of, us. for us. And the yeah. sponsors, Heineken, is yes. there because and of that's us. Where, and that's where Champions League fucked up. So now they started giving money to clubs. So that's why if you check uh, all the clubs around the world in all the leagues, yeah. the ones that have money are the ones that win the league. Okay. So Paris has won the France League for like eight seasons in a row because they have all the money. So they PSG, buy all the play- yeah. oh, best okay. players. Germany. Bayern Munich has all the money in the world. It's a one-horse race. It's a one-horse race. Spain, okay, here and there. Juventus has been winning for like nine years now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You get what I'm saying? So they fucked it up by giving the money to the clubs instead of giving it to the leagues so that they can share the money accordingly. The leagues? Yeah, so like if, if UEFA can give the EPL the amount to give to the English teams, not to Man United. Why? On what basis? On the basis that the money can be equally shared. But... But don't they pay teams that have qualified for Champions League? Yes. Exactly. So why must the league get money? No, I'm if saying it would have been... Te- four teams from that league. It would have been on a qualified. fair ground. Fair ground. If, because now what they do is they give each team a certain amount of money based on your stature and how popular you are. But isn't for that qualifying? Fair? No. Are you listening for to what I'm saying? Oh, so, so generically, UEFA gives teams man, like Kef, yes, even Keza Chiefs, yes, yes, Amazulu man. Yes. Oh, I see. Instead of giving it to the league and then they distribute it. Yeah, yeah, they... So that everybody eats. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So that's what is pissing off the big six. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's to say, okay, we are bringing all this traction because the TV rights, uh, the money that... Multi choice, for example, spends to watch to cover, uh, to cover the the EPL mm. goes to the FA Premier League. Mm. The mm. teams don't see that money, but why do we watch the Premier League? Because of the big six. Mm. Without those, mm. there is no Premier League. Mm. Mm-hmm. So they were basically saying, "Give us what we do." Okay. okay. And they lost a lot of money during lockdown. Oh, of course. These clubs. Of course. Yeah. You know, so I agree with the analogy and and what they. Because let's be honest, Champions League only starts being nice in quarterfinals, dog. Let's be honest. True. True. But the beauty of the quarterfinals and the knockout stages <coughs> is you just get two legs. But right now, these guys are proposing a league of like 16, 18 teams that's going to face one another on a normal league basis. Yeah. Then the fun is gone. But that's I don't want to see Juventus playing Mad- uh, Real Madrid every month. That's what I'm saying. The structure of how how they want to do it is badly, um, was badly pitched. And also some Mm. certain number of teams don't get to qualify. It's like they are, it's automatic qualification on the basis of that they are a big team. Yeah. They don't work for it. So that's why it's a bad idea. They don't even, I mean, Arsenal, 
They struggle to qualify for Champions League. Yeah. Arsenal should they, be... they, they lost it with the mechanics of how it's going to work. They lost it. They need to go back to the drawing board and make sure it makes sense. You know, that what? doesn't make sense. But I yes. agree with the ideology mm. of them saying we need more money. Yeah. And I love yeah. the fact that they were challenging the institutions, you know. That, yes. Because uh, FIFA, hella corrupt. Yeah. You wait for up, Champions bro. League, uh, UEFA. You know we bought the 2010 corrupt. World Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We, yeah, we did. With the what? We bought the 2010 World Cup. Yes. Exactly. Qatar. Qatar. Corrupt. Corrupt. Qatar doesn't even have a soccer team. And they make the most money when the teams <laughs> don't. So I agree with challenging. Can you imagine? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I agree with challenging Champions League and, you know, but I like the idea of this league, but I mean, teams should play and qualify. Isn't that That's the how- reason why Seb Blatter is no longer there? Yeah, all those yeah, he's banned for eight yeah. years or something. Yeah, he was, yeah, because of guy. all the corruption. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, man. So, hey, man, I don't think it was, but still, I have. You're right. The execution, have it in the format of the Champions League where teams do qualify. Yes, like an alternative to Champions League. Yes, not an elitist league mm-hmm. where some teams don't have to qualify, and also, hey, and it's good teams, that they listened to their, you know, the criticism, and they, I think. We're through. Like, okay. You yes. know? So that was a good thing as well. I think they, they knew listen. it was never going to happen. They just wanted to shake up. Yeah, just try. Yeah. Champions League. Mm. So they can mean? go back to the uh, negotiations and ask for more money. Exactly. It's they basically grab their value. They grab their value. They're like, actually, guys, we're making so much money for these fuckers. Mm. Let's take it. Yeah, it's like telling your boss that, yo, I got an offer from the other company. They're going to pay me four times. And you're lying. What you're paying me. Well, they weren't lying. JP Morgan yeah. was there to pay the money yeah. and, you know, bankroll this whole thing and just tell your employer that, hey, you know? Anyway, remember I told you guys about that club in Maboning? Oh, yeah, the one yeah. where the garage door closes and then, <laughs> yeah. and then there's someone from Maboning I met at the branch. They're like, now people are going around Maboning knocking on doors. <laughs> <laughs> at three in the morning. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Like I fucked it up for them. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really exist though? Yeah. What I'm gonna take you, bro. I'll take I, you. No, I take me, Doug. Yeah, I'll take you, bro. <laughs> you just uh, you can't come out. <laughs> you, <are stuck. laughs> you can't come out until the morning. Uh have you guys uh been to Santa lately? Uh no. What happened? Wait, Santa. Dude, it's a ghost town, bro. For real? Hmm. Yeah, like there's no one there. I get everyone's working from home. Oh, yes. Oh. True. oh, during the week, right? Yeah, during the no week. traffic, oh, yeah. nothing. Yeah. It's a ghost town. Mm. And apparently some of those uh, offices are going to be turned into apartments. Ooh. Because like now, a lot of businesses have realized that, hey, we actually don't, we need, don't need space. The space. These spaces. No, it's yeah. been, that's been happening a lot. Like all these office I've, spaces, they're yeah. really struggling. I have a friend, she works at Citibank. They've got a huge building there in Santon. And she's been working from home. Oh, my baby mama works Alexandra Forbes. And she's also been working from home. And they are saying it looks like it's going to be a thing. For real. Because mm. all they need to do is pay for their dongle, mm. the internet. Yeah. The computers are bought. Mm. Yeah. Right? And that is it. Yeah. Even Facebook. All those big companies. Yes, exactly. Oh. Right? Oh. Silicon yeah. Valley companies. Yes. And you're renting this huge ass yeah. building Ooh. in Santin and you realize that actually that 2,000 rents you pay per employee employee to be at home when they'd work it's like 10,000 per head yeah. if you're going to rent out that whole entire building. Yeah. So it works out cheaper and the production still continues. I know my cousin was and, once, yeah. and once again you see we lead the rest follow. Because we've been working from home. <laughs> <laughs> from Ghosty's home? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've I know my, my, my cousin, they were refusing them to work from home, which they can, but the company was saying, we've invested so much in the office, you guys have to freaking yes, come into the office. Yes, yes, so yes. So sometimes even companies refuse their employees to actually work from home just because of all the things they've done in the office to Make it easier for, not even easier, just... Is it a big company? Sounds like a small company. Um, It's a big, small company. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, do, I don't do you know. work from home, Ghost Lady? Partially, yeah. Partially, what does yeah. that mean? Like other days I'm home, other days I go to the office, but it's just like checking. Who, who decides if he must go to the office or not? 
I'm obviously the boss. Oh, so they tell you? No, no, no. They're not necessarily, but it's like, there's a schedule, yeah. you know, and I liaise with my employee, like, with my colleagues, basically. Like, yeah. okay, do you need something from me? Do I need to come in? Yeah. So that it's... What do you prefer? Because I think working from home would be a struggle, man. Don't you get, like, distracted? Mm. Yeah. No, my, my, my job is is is, is easy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I've got the... I can work from my cell phone, mm. basically. It's just, I've got a company phone and I work from my... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's See. like I could just be sitting watching TV and still be able to, if I have to attend to a call, just, you know, walk to so the So as the only one who's employed here, what are you for this or against it? <laughs> <laughs> you are the only one who's yeah. employed. You speak for the employed. <laughs> yeah. Like working from home, mm. I love it. But I've realized that some people actually struggle with working from home because... Um, like for instance, I know my husband, he actually sometimes prefers goes going into the office mm. because you find that meetings will go beyond, let's say he finishes, if he's in the office, if he closes his laptop and say bye bye to everyone at four, it's over. But working from home, people can start, ah, let's have a meeting, five mm. o'clock, seven o'clock, half past six. And then it's like, you know what, that thing is, can be like, drive a person off the cliff. Like literally, mm. this is just too much. Tell me of load shedding. Uh, Switch off. Yeah. What was, have you ever had a job, bro? No, like I like a he worked. Job. Oh, no. you mean like a nine to job five? Job. Yeah, yeah job well, job. as a student, yeah, but <laughs> it was not proper job. So what? What is your what first was job? It? What was it? Okay, I did promotions. I don't count it as a proper job. And then I got fired from it like first day. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, I fucked up. So I, I, I was at the four is more, right? Yeah. So I did promotion for it was called Tyler Tyler Student. Yes. Now in Brom. Well, they did promotions and I was a student and then uh, BMW, I was doing a promotion for them. Yeah. There was this new three series that they were promoting. So it was there, you know, for, at four is more or any more that have cars. Yeah. Oh, yes. I was oh, yes. with the BMW, right? Yeah. And then they did fancy, um, these, these fancy bolts. Car like uh, a bolt, okay, you know? and I placed them by the bonnets, but on top of the engine with the thing with the, with the bonnet open, the hood and up, stuff. Yeah. yeah, with the hood up. <laughs> so closing time, there I am, not realizing the boss are still there, and I close the hood, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, not closing. And, and you got a heavy hand, I'm bro. Like, right, heavy hand. <laughs> and it's fresh from the factory. Remember Yo. something wrong? Let me just close it, you know? Push it. Push, push, <laughs> uh, close. Great, amazing. Awesome. <laughs> Let me go home, right? Go home. Tomorrow morning, I got a call. And also, the owner of the company, Dallas Student, is a huge BMW fan. He's got like the M3, the yeah. BMW. Oh. So this is a personal relationship. Yeah. Okay. Right? With, it's, what is it? BMW Johannesburg Motor Club. Yeah. Mm. In the morning, the guys are there to set me up. They're like, ow, oh, there's a huge now, you know, <laughs> bump <laughs> in the bonnet of the car. And they're like, oh, well, mm. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, 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 I get there. I, I see these three, you know, bolt whole thing, uh, uh, tents <laughs> popping up, looking at me like, yo. And I see the white guys are red. Oh, you know, my wearing goodness. Wearing their shit red. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> I'm like, oh, fuck. It wasn't closing. <laughs> and I forced it. No. Right? And like, oh, they were, they were like, okay, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. You know how white people are. Yeah. Don't worry. It's fine. We'll sort it out. Just go home. Yeah. They, that was them saying, you're out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. Fuck out of here, nigga. Out of a job. Why didn't you, you know? tell them it's a demo? <laughs> You were testing the wind. <laughs> wind. <laughs> uh, so yeah, first job. That's my encounter. My first, 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 first ever, ever, ever job. Yeah. Oh, but like, that's crazy. Yeah. There's Van Roy in it. And, 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 and you guys, lady, your first job? Um, I was a promo. What was it? Like a promo, like at Moloko in Lusselin, um, Rosebank. Rosebank. Yeah. Yes. But it was like, I was just too oh, tired. Way back. Yeah. Yes. That was your first job. First year. I just lost it. How for do you let that job? Um, I don't know. Like there was my my roommates told me because yeah, I was like, oh, like they need girls for the so we went mm. and then there was like a party and we had to bring in the food, the platters, mm. and just you know make sure if people is oh. but yeah, I was just at the back half of the time tired, like you are Drinking. Ambur uh, <laughs> hockey club girl, eh? Oh, that's yeah. where they are. Yeah, that's where the action happened. Yeah, yeah I could have local. made it, but you see, I was in the back drinking, and that's how I, so I was like, I, and I'm not good for this. <laughs> I remember I was, it was, uh, I just matriculated, right? So I was working at Crazy, and I took a gap year, right? Mm -mm -mm. So I'm working at Crazy, uh, 
And I'm like, hey, guys, during the week, I'm doing nothing, man. You know, like, is there anything I can do? So uh, the production house is Red Pepper Pictures. Oh, yeah? So they're like, ah, actually, we need someone for Cool Cats. You know the Cool Cats show? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So they're like, they need Wait, a you runner. you the Cool Cats? No, 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 oh. no, no, no. I didn't have the privilege. <laughs> <laughs> that means privilege. <laughs> So they're like, they need a run now and said to do admin stuff, logistics, whatever. Yeah. Mm. I'm like, fuck, great. I'm excited, dog. Mm. So my first day was Monday. Uh, 8 a.m. was call time. Mm. I woke up at 5 because my mom was shitting on me. She's like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just laying here every single day. Mm -hmm. You need a job. So I'm like, I got a job, mom. Mm -hmm. Starting at 8. Mm. Woke up at 6. Mm. Took a shower. Mm. Had breakfast. Yes. I'm fucking amped, dog. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get there. Cool cats. We start shooting. Dog, by 12, I found myself in the back, passed out. I was tired. <laughs> that was the first and last time. <laughs> yeah, working okay, as a student. <laughs> and about 10 11, I started passing out, dog. <laughs> Uh, I was falling asleep. Uh, 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 then I grabbed the chair, passed out. I'm like, this is not for me. Not the one. Ah, yeah, yeah. So imagine a nine to five, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. People are different. But if you had the option, though, like if you're just in your like, you had to choose a career, what would you do? Like deep down, you feel like, hmm, maybe I could be. If I really, really was focused, I could have been a doctor or something. Just like I wanted to be an accountant. An accountant. I remember in grade 11, they asked us um, in the accounting class. Mm. They went around every student. They're like, what do you guys want to do? What do you want to be? So, you know, fucking these fucking IBE motherfucking kids. <laughs> They're like, oh, I want to be a doctor. I want to be an engineer. So they come to me. I want In my heart, I wanted to say radio, but I knew they were going to laugh at me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the fuck was well, to do radio? <laughs> so I'm like, I, I want to be an accountant. <laughs> Sound like yeah, yeah. Like yeah you know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> so grade eleven, uh, it's now time to choose like what uh, varsity you wanna go to. Mm. So I tell my mom, I'm like, I right, me, I wanna be an accountant. She knew. She's always known that's not gonna happen. It's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. So she took me to some accounting firm uh, in Rosebank, and I met this guy, and I sat down with him. He was like, so you wanna be an accountant? I'm like, yeah, definitely. Went through the whole roadmap, right? So it's like, you're going to study for three years, and then you do this for yeah. four, yeah. and then you get honors, five, whatever. All in all, it was seven years. When I left there, I'm like, ah, this shit's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> seven years <laughs> of studying. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> I don't see you as an accountant. Hey, imagine, dog. Fuck, <laughs> and you, saw <laughs> what did you want to be? A, a, a pilot. A pilot. Fair enough, oh. yeah. Then I started rapping. <laughs> it was like grade 10 Grade 9 And it was a rap Yeah <laughs> Fuck being a pilot I'm flying off as a rapper You know Anyway mm -hmm. Exactly So Why yeah. did you want to be a pilot? That's interesting actually Because it pays well It's cool You get to travel the world Yeah Yeah really That's it I never really loved Fucking flying Or whatever It was like It pays well Travel the world Fuck, I want to I actually once thought of I wanted to be an A hostess because of the same thing. I want to travel the world. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They just looked flat. They looked beautiful. They looked like they were just happy, you know, thinking. Mm. Yeah. Are you sure you're not running away from your demons? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Flying away. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, remember? I can't take this shit. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Those bloody so what clothes. happened? So what happened then? Oh, I forgot it, but like I said, I started rapping literally. Yeah. And I just forgot about it. Like, I, I like this music thing. But then I was like, nah, music. And then, yeah, shit happened. And you know, you passed my trick. And then I changed, wanted to be a sound engineer. But my mom was, had passed away by then. My family was like, you ain't gonna be a no sound engineer, nigga. <laughs> Out here making music in this house. And you ain't singing where that has taken you. You know, study something reasonable. Then I started B comp. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Become what? Uh become what was it? Okay, okay. It was become, <laughs> become. economics. <laughs> yeah. It was stupid shit. I always said money, man. I don't just tell them, no, give me the money, guys. Let me do, see what I want to do, you know? You become uh, fucking economics. What did you do? Become wow. economics. Oh, dog. Because I felt like I needed to impress them. It literally, it was not for me. I felt like I needed to impress them and do something. Yeah. Oh, I'm lying. I did engineering first year. What? I did engineering. Yeah. I did engineering first year. 
um, engineering. I no, did, that uh, sounds like you're really trying to impress. Mechanical, yes. Yeah, you're really trying. And then trying I dropped to. out, and then I did become accounting. Mm. Remember, there was a time everyone yeah. went to be an engineer and an accountant. <laughs> The problem is I went to one of those camps. There was um, CSA, Saika, actually, uh, yeah. some chartered accountant thingy, um, and the Department of Education, Engineering, whatever, had organized camps. Ooh. And they took me to one of those camps. Um, and that's what made me think engineering, engineering, because those camps, we went to, to one in um, in Sabi, which is in Mpumalanga. Mpumalanga. Yeah, Mpumalanga, yes. Mm. And it was for engineering and accounting. And that's where I was like, yeah, maybe I should actually do this engineering. Did you guys ever smash in those camps? How? Oh. Now I was a virgin. Left, got there virgin, left the virgin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> my cousins used to smash at those Chris, Christian camps. How? Oh, Christian, Christian camps, camps even. Camps. Mm. How old was he? Like, ah, like old enough. Older. Mm. Not like kiddie Christian. No, 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 no. Oh, but okay. I was always envious because they tell me, yeah, I smashed this one. Yeah. Like, hey, maybe I must go what? to a Christian camp. It's a holy camp. Isn't it? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> you have to fill up all the holes there. <laughs> I love these Christian camps. <laughs> Went to one also. Yeah. But I never never smashed. Last yeah. thing on my head was smashed. Yeah, that exactly. Yeah, like, I went to one as well. The last thing in my head. You just... Yeah. My highlight there. What are you saying? It's a vendor good. thing, guys. Is it uh, a vendor maybe thing? Maybe it's a vendor thing. I mean, <laughs> oh, hey. To, no, no, no. It's everywhere. I'm sure Christian you get crazy camp. things out there. My highlight was fake falling. You know, when the pastor comes, like, <gasps> pa! <"Pah!" laughs> your head. And you want to fall. <laughs> Some nigga from Kenya, they were like a pretty special guy, whatever, 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 whatever. You know what I mean? And my pants were there sagging, hip hop guy, and they were like, you, you need this gun. <laughs> you know, they brought me to the front. And they felt like they saved you. Yeah, and I see, like, you're touching people, they fall. I'm like, oh, flip. No, but I'm sure he was pushing people. It's gonna, yeah. That's what I realized. It's gonna eventually happen to me, right? Ah, oh, guy pushes me, I'm not going anyway, right? Ah, pushes me. Ah, I'm still here. Oh, no, no. Then, 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 ah, the thing then, is, then there's a demon. There's a yeah, demon. Yeah, then it's like, yo, demon. Like, yo, yeah. hold, stop, stop. But let me handle this guy, you know? Shut my ass. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. You're going to fall now. What the fuck? Shut my ass. Fire. Let me make sure he hits you with a rest of fire. <laughs> You're like, all right, let me concede. <laughs> let me let's fall. Yeah. The demon in you said, listen. Yeah, but then the demon said, get up. Abide. Show him. Get up. Abide. Just get up. Stand up again. I was like, hey, I don't want no smoke. I want to try I'm not to, trying to catch no smoke yet. Yeah, there I am. You know, one eye open. It's like, oh, people are celebrating. <laughs> like, Hallelujah, the demon is out. I'm like, y'all don't know this demon is telling me to get up right now. And fight back. And stand right back and stand him in, in the eyes. <laughs> But I was, I was like, All right, let me just chill. Let so, me chill. Let me so get this the straight. Huh? They came to you first time, but they Yeah, they came to me. You know, and so then I see the pants are sagging. It's like, ah, this one is, the demon is real. It's alive in him. You know? no, I'm saying, as they push you first time, you're like, I'm not no, going down. No, first time, it's like a small pack. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. Hey, so, hit me with that word of God, you know? Like, Hallelujah, I'm I feel it. it. Like, yeah, I'm feeling it. I don't know, it's supposed to Anoint go down. me. Then I, again, I'm like, then I started, I'm like looking at everybody. So this is what got you guys down. Like, I, I started to look at everybody fire like, oh, fuck is going on, man? You know? That's when I realized that it's all bullshit. You know what I mean? That's why you were like, hey, hey, let's go. Let's go, boy. <laughs> And then only started speaking in tongues. <laughs> uh, hey, let me just help this guy. Stand down. Stand down. Let, me just, <laughs> let me help this guy. It's like the time we got hypnotized. Me and Bougie got hypnotized. At oh, YFM. You know? Are you, you going to die? <laughs> yeah. yeah you just decide, hey, let me just help this guy. And, yeah, and, and turn to the script. Exactly. Because this thing is not working. Oh, my tummy is sore. Yeah, they came at YFM to hypnotize us. But was it me and Bougie or was it me during oh. Bougie's show? I think what I was doing was show with the Neuronaka Fuck when me. I was still a student. Mm. I mean, a student at YFM, Y academic. Oh. Yeah. You know, that hypnotizes. Oh. Yeah, and it didn't been work. It didn't work. Yeah. So you had to play pretend. Yeah, I was like, fuck. <laughs> In hindsight, it was going to be good radio if I was like, ah, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, like now I see you, the mic is there, you are there. <laughs> Bushi, I see you, you know what I mean? But I you're was, like, no, it was me and Andy Lemunyai. Oh, man. It was Bushi's show, yeah, oh. you remember, yeah, just pretended. Oh, and what oh, did you do gosh. in your pretense? 
Oh, the, oh I forgot. I, well, I sang Single Ladies by Beyonce. Oh. Yeah, some stupid ass <laughs> ish. So that's a hot man. Oh, I man, it. I haven't laughed that much in a while. My tummy is so bad. Yeah, no, no, no. So that's what happened. At my no, but I, understand I didn't those. shag. Yeah? So you heard tongues, but it's cute, cute. I was like, all right, it's tongues. Let me like, go down. You know, who am I? You know? The next thing, no one wants to talk to me at this camp. Like, he's got strong demons. The tongues didn't work on him. <laughs> <laughs> you know that like, the tongue still work on him. Stay away from him. So like, oh fuck, let me just go down. <laughs> Can't defy the tongue. I'm, sure, I'm sure that pasta from Kenya was pissed. <laughs> like, what do you um, toilet below? Which one is this one? <laughs> I didn't get the memo. <laughs> That I'm supposed to just fall <laughs> on this guy touching me. You know what I mean? No, but the thing is, is I think people already just... They were close to clapping you. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They did. They did. I'm the rest of the world. I'm going to clap. I'm going to clap. I'm going to clap. I'm going to clap. bro. Like, yo. <laughs> for real. And a part of you wants to, wants to check where you're landing first. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> right, let's go. Hit me. You know? Because no, now you're falling, you're worried. Yes, like, ushers. who the fuck am I landing? No. Who's the <laughs> behind me? And I'm, I'm breaking my neck. I ain't trying to break my neck for when this the, fake the ass When the ushers who are holding, they who are ready to hold you. Mm? And then when the <laughs> ushers or people are at the, around. No, ushers. No. <laughs> No one is holding. They already set this up very well, obviously. Yeah. Like they have people around, so it's like it kind of triggers in your head. Like no one helped me, bro. Four, I remember four. landing. Oh shit! I remember landing. No one, no one. What for you to hold on? Can I just? Yeah, bro. You. Know? <laughs> hey, yo, where am I landing for? <laughs> Now I'm falling. I'm gonna fall now. I've decided. And brace myself for the clap. You know what I mean? But are you thinking, should I land on my arm? But, you know? And then turn on my back quickly. Oh, I just gosh. hold my back. Oh, gosh. And I took the plunge, landed on my back. Have you ever watched this Emmanuel TV or oh, these shows man. where they are like praying 24 7 and it's just like people falling, <clears throat> praying like. I've watched Emmanuel. Oh, it's got oh. people on their knees. They don't pray. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, manual I watch they on their knees they ain't praying <laughs> <laughs> which manual are you talking about getting slapped with something else <laughs> <laughs> eh? a different kind of holy staff <laughs> Watch the manual. Oh, Sing of the holy there. One of the ladies was on the periods. Oh, the guy Moses, this is his name, he parted the Red Sea. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck it up. Okay. All right. Uh, what do I want to talk about before we go? Thank you so much. What, what, what happened to the KFC wedding, guys? How? What happened to it? it the wedding happened. Yeah. I heard they got divorced. I oh! thought that was a lie. I was it a lie? a lie? Fake news. Yeah, fake news. Oh. No, no ways. A couple that looks that happy at KFC, <laughs> in no way is they breaking up anytime <laughs> soon. Because <laughs> that's real love. That's, to me, that's like nothing fake, nothing, you know what I mean? You're happy, your man has taken, nah, they, nah I don't think they can. Do, do you know that guy, uh, he, he was proposing because he fucked up? Uh. Generally, guys propose because they fucked up. Mm, he was cheating. Are you serious? Yes. Mm. Either you've impregnated someone out uh, outside of the relationship, either you get caught cheating and you want to marry the woman now. Guys will ask for, to marry you or try to get you pregnant because they think... It's the only way to keep you. Yeah, and they're wrong these days. There's a lot of baby mamas. How did how did, uh, how did uh, Mnaga propose? Um, He actually proposed... I was telling him that he actually didn't propose, propose. He just... Asked if his family can come in and pay my uh, lobola. That's that generally the how it's exactly. Done. The black way. And that's for the me, black way. For me, it was like, oh no. After they came through, and that was for me was equivalent. I didn't even because people would be like, so he didn't get a ring. I'm like, no, for what? He paid money. Like, there's what's the need for that? Yeah, and yeah. He said, yeah. So he never kn kneeled down or anything. No, 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 no. For real? Yeah. Don't you girls like that though? Um, you know what, because of TV, you know, like, just kind of like, oh, it's all cute, set up this whole thing. But at the end of the day, you need to speak to the family first. That's not the African way. Yeah. Though. My yes. cousin's getting married. I'm going to wedding next week, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you, are you the best man or just 
They I'm just a man with the oh. ordinary people. Mm. I'm mm. also going. Uh. Oh, you coming? Yes. Oh, oh shit. You're not a cousin. You th- you think I'd not be invited? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm family yeah. now. You're not yeah, making yeah. a speech. Nah, fuck that, bro. You know, I hate people, man. You're not in the program, no way. I don't hate people, but I'm saying I hate crowds, sorry. Mm. Oh. Came out wrong. Oh, okay. But how I are you going to get married now? Hey? How are you going to get married when you hate tra- crowds? Hey. <laughs> in fact, your wedding should be like a chillers. The chillers should be also invited to your wedding. You should We're going to have, um, what's that thing, the head of Tupac? A hologram. Yeah, yeah hologram. I'm have a hologram. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> of yourself. <laughs> So you are not even present. <laughs> you are wicked. <laughs> okay, hologram. Eh? Talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, but so tomorrow is his, uh, you doing the bachelorette tomorrow. Yeah. We don't know what to do with the bachelors. Can you give me some ideas? Eh? You go to strip clubs. Strip clubs. Just go to a strip club um, and uh, tell them we've got um, it's a bachelor party. Like I know Summit has an area for the bachelor parties, mm. the cubicles. Mm. So there's girls who work for Summit or, and they do their business in the cubicles. Is he allowed to smash my, my cousin? There's no. Small... He can't? No. No, he can. Yeah, generally that's what bachelor parties are for. Yeah. No, yeah. no, speaking for his woman, he's not allowed married... to smash. No. Mm. I don't know about whoever. That's the wrong question. Who are you, you referring asked? to? Generally, they smash. Mm. Who? <laughs> they're soon to be getting, get, ah, they're no, soon no, to no. be husbands. He's not, a, no, no, no. Hey. No, one, no one is smashing. I've been to bachelor Nobody parties. Nobody is smashing. Yeah. Mm. Just go to Including Summit. you, MacGyver. Yeah. Sort it out. Or at, yeah, any strip club has a, a bachelor party. Nobody Small is smashing. Venue. Mm. Nobody well, is VIP. smashing. Mm. They ask, what do you like? What does he like? What do you guys want? Like big tits, big boobs, this, 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 that. <laughs> you make an order to buffet. Yeah. And you order. You'll be ordering for yourself. No, no, nobody is smashing. And, and you can tell him Naga didn't have one, so it's two for one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a bachelor party. Oh, Naga will be there. So yeah, right? yeah, he didn't have a bachelor party. <laughs> uh, sorry to break it down to you, but yeah, bachelor Nobody party is... is smashing. But, but, but. In fact, I'll come, I'll drop my bachelor <laughs> and see that you bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see? I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm breaking a code. Am I breaking a code? Like you're not supposed to talk. Yeah, I feel like I'm not supposed to say that, guys. But generally, that's what happens. Have you been to a bachelor party? Yeah, I was. I was at one badly organized one, mm. and the guy didn't organize anything. Then we found ourselves in Rosettenville in some ass, and and we're like, no, let's just go to a strip club, and we went to the strip club, and that's the experience I'm speaking from. That I'm time now, I was planning on doing a poiki for him. Yeah, that's. It. I had, I'm, I'm, I'm for that. Mm. Yeah. No, but I like Saul's idea. No. Mm. Saul, no, take look, your idea There's back. two ways. Either you book girls from the strip club to mm. come to your house, right? Or you just go to the strip club. Mm. Obviously, if you book them to come to your house, it's nicer like that. As long as there's enough variety and the number is good. Mother ain't available. Yeah, they're all good. Yeah. <laughs> we should invite some strippers to come to the show. You think they'd come? I know some strippers. Yeah, I must invite them. They want money. They yeah, it's fine. We've got Mnaga. Mnaga, yeah. what, what, what will Mnaga do? Mm-hmm. We've, got Mnaga. We've got Mesh. He's got a black card. Oh, oh you got two. Mm, two. Oh, it's you know cool what I mean? Too. Yeah. Yo, no, it's cool. Okay. So hit them up, ne? No, I'll hit them up, definitely. Okay, and then they'll perform here. Yeah. Oh, flip. Yeah, yeah when's the last show? We're moving to a studio. Yeah, the last show. Yeah, the last show. Yeah, the last show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're moving to a studio. Yeah. We got a studio, so yeah. the last show here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why not? Mm-mm. You can take a day off that day. Good. Yeah, you can take a day off. <laughs> Work from home. What have other, <laughs> other ghost ladies? <laughs> Holy ghost. <laughs> Holy ghost. <laughs> oh, shit, man. We are here. I got some announcements Oi. to make. Yes. Oh, I got yes. so many. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah? Cool. First of all, Zola 7, we're making history this week. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zola 7. Yes. 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 Premiere. Yes. Movies. Movies. Yes. We're premiering. Stay Kiniko. I'm going to be at Joburg Santa. Joburg. Joburg Santa. Oh, Santin. in Joburg. Yes. Dope. So, you're doing Cape Town, yeah? Cape, Cape Town. Town. Tiger Valley. Oh, Tiger Valley. Dope. Uh, ghost Lady, you're doing Durban, yeah? I'll be in Durban. Gateway. But- I will see you, you won't see me. Yeah. yeah kind of but vibe. apparently the Durban sales are slow. I don't know, maybe, is it, is, is it, it's not payday yet. 
Hey, what's going on in Durban? How? The sales are slow. Are they slow? Yeah, Cape Town and Joburg, we like 80% oh. sold out. Ooh. Oh, dope. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Ooh. Can't wait. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's not payday. It's oh, when, it's not, when is the 25th? Nah, chillers don't need payday. I know chillers. Yeah, chillers. They've yeah. Got, they've what's going on in Durban? Ew, ew, Durban chillers. What's going on? Yeah. So make sure you uh, check out the link uh, description below to grab a seat for the State Clinical Premier happening in Durban, Joburg, Cape Town. Starts at 7.30 p.m. this coming Thursday. Fucking history in the making. Cannot wait. Yeah. Oh, that, that smash. That trailer. Yo, You're a genius, yo, bro, man. It's a trailer. It's, it's a movie. Oh, it's a Let movie, says, bro. Lance has got a, a place reserved for him in heaven. Oh, in hell. Sure. <laughs> what am I saying? Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're good, bro. Mesh, shout out for that trailer, man. And, it's and Mesh will also goosebumps. be in Durban. Yes, Mesh yeah, will also Mesh be in Durban. Yes. yes. Oh, Are you yeah. going with Blackie? Where's Blackie? He's in Limbobo. Oh. oh, but there's no premier in Limbobo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which well, one is he going to? <laughs> there goes Savannah. <laughs> so, so we'll upload uh, Questa. On YouTube okay. this Thursday, and then Zola will come. We'll drop it next week after the premiere. Mm. Oh, for I all see. the other chillers who will not be able to come to the yeah, yeah, premieres. we'll have to wait for a week. Yeah, yeah. we'll have to have well, yeah. Oh, and then dope. also we started a new show. Yo, yeah, another one, another, another one, one. Yeah. another one. Yes. Which one is this one? For the longest time, I was thinking about how do we get chillers involved with the show because you know they're always commenting. And have a lot to say about everything, right? right. Yeah. Which we love. All right. yeah. So I'm like, how do we get our chillers to be involved? Like, fuck it. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna start a show called After Chillers mm. every Tuesday night mm. with my main man DJ Jaws from Metro FM. Whoa! He's oh, DJ Jaws. He's gonna be going live. What? And you can join the show. What? And talk about anything that has to do with the podcast. Oh, nice. Oh, oh no. nice. Anything and everything. It's called After Chillers. After Chillers. Yeah. Ooh. So he's going to be taking like calls, basically. Like Tuesday at what time? Tuesday at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Live. Live. Nice. Live. Oh. After Ooh. Chillers. After. But here's a catch. Okay. Only for members. Ooh. Uh, members only. So Yo. if you're a member, you'll get a link. Mm. To join the show. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. That sounds exciting. Yeah, Same. I'm excited, man. It's going to be dope, Ah, uh, It's going to be dope. Yeah. Because you know, know have a lot to say, bro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this show is, a, is, is giving a voice to our chillers. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. So nice. Jaws is going to do DJ this. Jaws. DJ Jaws. Jaws, man. Yeah. Awesome. Ooh. I was at his house. We were trying it out to see if we can go live and whatnot and the mm -hmm. passwords and whatever. And then mistakenly, we went live during the Stone interview. <laughs> oh, snap. But like for like 30 seconds. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Distracted the people for yeah, a moment. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. So that's going to start this Tuesday after Chillers, uh, strictly for the Chillers. Nice. And that's the last show I'm coming up for now. Okay. Until further notice. All right. And then okay. the Bougie one, which one? When is it starting? Uh, well, man, they shot yesterday. Apparently, it was awesome, ne? It was awesome, Nice. Man. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah. when is the Bougie show? Uh, Bougie, as soon as they're done editing, we'll put it up. Okay. Oh, All right. right. So maybe Hard we can work. put it up on Tuesday. There's nothing on Tuesdays, ne? In the afternoon, ne? Yeah, Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Monday will be us. Yes. Tuesday, Bougie. Yeah. Oh, Wednesday, ladies. ladies. Thursday, celebrity. Celebrity. Friday, the fire, 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 so fire, fire. Friday, fire. Later, fire. Tuesday, perfect. Yeah. Chillers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Can't dope. wait, man. That's mm. going to be dope. dope. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. Granger is now available at the Hangout. Shims' place in Tembisa. Ooh. So if you're out to be so make sure you head out to the hangout. We're also out at the Ruma Oskido. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Waterfall. Well done. Rooftop barbecues, all of them. Yes. Nationwide. Oh. Nice. Santon. What? Turpin. Oh. Maboning. Oh. Yeah, just don't knock in Maboning. <laughs> <laughs> Where in Maboning? Uh, oh, rooftop. Oh, rooftop. Rooftop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Top yeah, yeah. yeah. Granger, oh, Granger's sweet. there. And then there are those tops that are selling it, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Roslyn, Roslyn. We sold out. Clayville. Clayville. Yeah. They launched on Thursday. Oh, All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. So we're growing, man. Oh. Anything else you want to add, bro? No, nothing. Yeah. Just, nothing. you can't wait to see your chillers. Yeah. Them chillers in Cape Town. Oh, yeah. Cape Town yeah. chillers. Are you going to make a speech? Huh? Are you going to make a speech? You have to. A speech? You have to. Are hey, the Joburg one is a, is a party. It's a hey, movie. the Joburg one is a party. Hey, there's, there's a red a carpet. There's a bar. Like, there's a gonna microphone be... for the speech. Eesh. The hologram, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, please, you are, you, you you are going to be there <laughs> in person. Zola's going to be there. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, man. It's exciting times, man. Cannot wait. Because yeah. you're glowing. Are you pregnant? Am I pregnant? Mm. Why? You're glowing, eh? You've been saying this. You look good, eh? Oh, I do I? She looks oh. like a snack, eh? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. Naga, Naga snack. Yeah. I, you know Naga said this window, right? You know I, that, right? I, I look like Naga snack. So yeah. you must oh, yes. the sentence. Yes. You look like Naga snack. No, but for the sake of the podcast, we all think when you're on air. On air? Mm. Oh, really? Mm. <laughs> After they know all our partners. <laughs> so, Konji, who's your partner? Hey, you guys never asked me. So, she's a hologram. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's no, no. not a hologram. She's a real person. She's a real person. Yeah. Mm. Everybody. People always ask me about my partner. Oh. Yeah, but do they? Yeah. She's a surprise. She's not a surprise. Mm. It just so happened that you guys have never met. But like, I'm not hiding her. Oh. You know what I mean? It just so happened. When you meet, you meet. It's all good. Are you going down to Cape Town with her? Well, I think I'm, I'm going down on her. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do I have two tickets to Cape Town? Yeah. All right, then I'll go with her. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For the sake of the podcast, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that but means no. Yes, why? There no, two, there's no budget. <laughs> so no music. <laughs> but I'll go down with her. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we are here, man. Podcasting chill. Love, love, love. Oh. Thank you. Are you kill me with that thing? <laughs> the the prayer. Yeah. Oh, that the shit. Pretty. I didn't see that shit. Like, <laughs> fuck, that happened. Enda. Armenia.